Now let's start my morning routine. So I wake up to that absolutely terrible noise of my alarm at around 6 or 7 a.m. This new year, I'm trying to wake up earlier just so that I get my day going early and then I have a longer day so I can get more work done. I make my bed and then I step over that annoying dog gate every single morning. And then I go into the bathroom and I wash my face. I have all my skincare products linked down below in the description bar. Then after that, I dance around in the bathroom while my little brother laughs at me because I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> and then I go back into my closet and I change my outfit. Now I usually go to the gym in the morning so I just put on a sports bra and some leggings. It's like my go-to gym outfit. And it was cold so I put on my sweatshirt and then after that I sat down and I started my makeup. Now I don't usually wear makeup. <laughs> That's my like this is way too early death face. But I usually don't wear makeup to go to the gym. But when it's really early in the morning I like to just throw on some powder, a tinted powder and some bronzer just so that I don't feel like so dead. So the makeup kind of helps me wake up and feel a little better. And while my coffee's getting made, I down a whole water since I haven't drank any water throughout the whole night. I want to rehydrate my body. So I drink a whole water. And then I throw on my shoes and I'm out the door. I drive to the gym and now it's sunrise. Guys, look at this sunrise. It was literally insane. It made the whole morning worth it. Like that was so pretty. And then I grab my water, put my stuff in the locker. I always start my workouts with stretching and rolling out my muscles. Guys, that is the key thing, especially as a dancer, to keep our muscles flexible and our muscles lean and toned. You really wanna make sure you're getting enough stretching and you're really rolling out your muscles so that when you strengthen them, you don't tighten them to the fact that they become bulkier and then you cause injuries. So make sure to roll those muscles out. And then I only go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the other days I do an at-home plyometric, like really crazy cardio thing. So whenever I do go to the gym, I usually do legs, butt, abs, and cardio. So I like to walk on the treadmill at a really high incline, run, use a stepper, um, bend abs, and you know, all that good stuff. I'll have a lot more workout videos up on my channel soon. And then, of course, I always end my workout by rolling out my muscles again so that I can release them after strengthening them and such so that I don't get any injuries. They recover faster and I maintain the flexibility. Went back into the locker room, put my sweatshirt back on, grabbed my bag, and I was off. <laughs> I drove home and then I was greeted by my three really, really cute dogs. So I have the two puppies and then my cute little old dog. And she, I know she looks a little rough, but... I love her so much. And then I jumped in the shower because I was all sweaty and gross. I put on my face cream and all that again. All products linked in the description bar. Then I just threw on this sweatshirt because I was so hungry. I usually just put, oh, by the way, guys, yeah, that's what 15 years of dance did. That's what it taught me. <laughs> just joking. But yeah, I just threw on a sweatshirt because I was starving and I wanted to just get down really quick. Don't worry, I do have shorts on. And this is my go-to breakfast. Egg whites, one egg salsa and spinach so what I do is I pop one egg in and then I fill the rest of the pan with egg whites and I like to do this so that I get more egg whites than yolk and while that is cooking I usually just cut up an apple and I eat that as a snack and I really like apples this is how I cut my apples I don't know why but I just like it better and here's me being again stupid dancing around <laughs> with my apples and then I go back to my food, and by then the eggs are cooked, so I throw on a handful of spinach. I turn the flame off, and I just let that simmer. And while that simmers, I drink a bunch of water, again, to keep my digestion going and just stay hydrated. And then I go back to the food, and by then the spinach is all nice and perfect. Put some salsa on, and I flip it over into an omelet, and then that is my breakfast. I have my protein, my fats, and my carbs. Then I go upstairs and I write down my plan for the day just so that I have a very productive day and I know exactly what I need to do. Seeing it on paper always helps me. Then I pop my computer open and I get started on my daily work. And yeah guys, that is my healthy 2018 morning routine. I'm trying to get up early, get to the gym, eat healthy, be productive and all that good stuff.